how to use the four button lipo charger first a few do's and don'ts always avoid short circuiting positive and negative every time before start charging and after charging check the individual cells so to start with 385 so it's a little bit above storage valve check that each cell has similar voltage if you are going to charge more than one light put together they should not have more than point one volt uh, difference between any of the cells that you are charging together and most important don't mix three four or five cells always charge the same cell number next i think i left the charger without the connectivity so you should have something like this this should be one end connect to this side firmly inserted the charger on the other end find the there is only one plug that fits but it should be the 6s one pay, pay special attention because those connectors have some guide tips that you insert it correctly and now another is pay really close attention that you are have red 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 and insert the red and the positive one and the black and the negative one do this before you plug the charger in the main line and before you plug any batteries in the balancer uh, next let's see if we can fit both so should this should work i hope i recommend always first plug in the charger in the main line wait until it sometimes it will have let me try to focus this a little bit better let me see if i can if this will help so uh, you will be charging lipo batteries those are lipo batteries so you have to press the battery type button until you find lipo nickel casing plumber settings special mode load lithium ops there one cycle around one more time lithium batteries enter and here you have the lithium polymer and also oh i'm sorry lithium batteries and if you press enter again you can change different lithium polymer lithium ferro um, that i don't know and lithium poly but you want is lipo and then you press enter and here you can change the um, amperage that you will be using for the for charging as i mentioned the other day uh, always check your batteries this is a 1500 one so it's 1.5 amps hour and 1c should be 1.5 amps charge so if you in the future are going to charge two batteries you can 
and they are the same 1500 you could put this on 3 amps but I always recommend charging it at the lowest possible rate so if you have a little more time uh, this will help in the battery life so we have 1.5 okay this charger automatically detects uh, how many cells you will be connecting but some charges you have to select the cell number and I always recommend using balance charging you could there are different options only charge and it will not balance the cells fast charge I never use it but you could use it it will charge faster but uh, battery life also gets affected uh, storage it will try to put the battery in storage value so uh, if the battery is above storage value it will discharge or below it will charge until storage value and this is this charge uh, remember this will heat up the charger a lot so let it on a surface you should always charge on a surface that is not uh, flammable uh, and discharging is slow really slow uh, discharge is automatic this will cycle it's kind of a recover process it will go until maximal voltage discharge charge monitor is for checking and balance charge this is the what you should be using so we have it connected let's see if I can focus this in anyway Always first connect the main battery connector. You see it didn't change anything. Uh, if you have more than one battery, always connect only the main connectors after you have checked the voltage of each one. And after you have connected all the main connectors, wait uh, 30 seconds or something so that the cells get balanced and after that pay really close attention those balance connectors have for 2s 3s 4s 5s and 6s 1s is a cell so 4 cells is 4s i regularly use 4s so i have extension leads here so it's easier to connect but you could also connect it directly here if you want remember never charge different cell numbers together or if one of the cells has a uh, higher difference of cell voltage first charge that battery alone until the bed the cells are correctly balanced and then you can charge them together again so connecting those also always pay attention that you connect those wires correctly so red with red or paying attention at those leads as soon as we connect this here the balancer will automatically detect that we are using a 4s battery so the nominal voltage is 14.8 volts there here is a nice trick uh, this charger if you before you start charging if you hold the stop button for I think it's five seconds it will go in a monitor mode so it will read so this this works if you're using one battery because if you're using more than one keys will do the average of all the batteries so the input voltage from the main line is 12.559 the battery voltage is right now 15.42 volts uh, you can press decrease and increase to see different options the first one is internal resistance this should be always very low so 10 or below sometimes I have some lipos that are around 30 but they recommend that it but I never really pay much attention and if you press the increase 
you get the each cell voltage reading so this charger is very precise uh, if your cell meter isn't reading correct this is a good way to check each cell so back to start charging if check again if you have the correct amperage for the charging and if it did correctly detect the cell number of the battery sometimes if you have a broken lead of the cells it could detect it wrong so pay attention and hold it for three seconds it checks the battery again and would start charging it's a lipo battery for cells it's charging at 1.5 amps the actual voltage is 1554 it's balanced charging this is the uh, amount of milliamps that it has um, stored in the battery in the time um, you can press increase and decrease to see some statistics so to the right you can monitor each cell individually while it's still charging if you don't touch anything for a few seconds it will go back to the or if you are impatient you can simply press start uh, the decrease will say it will charge until 16.8 this is 4.2 volts per cell it's the maximum for those lipos uh, also if it has for some reason stored 5 thousand milliamps it also will stop it's a security measure or two hours you can change this but i recommend don't change it if you're charging for two hours you're having trouble um, if internal temperature goes over 50 degrees it also will stop uh, this charger i don't have an external temperature reader connected but you could connect one on the other side here um, and that's it it would say what how much power it's drawing from the main line it's drawing right now two amps and the voltage and that's it to the right individual cell see right now it's 390 and it stays and when it, when at the end at 4.2 per cell it will stop alone and will beep so we're ready if for any reason you have any trouble you press stop or pull the main line and disconnect the batteries also as soon as you can when you when you're finished again i recommend disconnecting the balance leads of each cell of each battery and after that removing with care the main connector and as i said before check the individual cell readings every time as you can see at this moment it isn't any more perfectly balanced because it's during the, bal the charging process uh, that it will be balanced so at the end it could be finished but for now it, I will leave it so and that's it hope you don't burn your house and you can enjoy many many years of the hobby stay safe my friend